Greetings, fellow detectives. We are continuing our walkthrough for Nancy Drew Treasure in the Royal Tower. We have found lots of things that we need to talk to Professor Hotchkiss about. Let's see what she has to say. Yes, dear? I saw a letter on your desk from your friend, the Baroness von Hanseldorf. And I'm just wondering, did the medallion she gave you have a blue stone in it by any chance? Heavens no! Where did you hear such a thing? My medallion had a green stone in it. Anything else would be a mere imposter, a flaming faker, do you hear me? What do you think of Lisa Ostrom? That Leslie, yes, oh, a real dynamo, but... Oh, I told Chester that I would not require any maid service during my stay. I don't know why she didn't get the message. She's not a maid. Has she been pretending to be one? I found something that I think you'll be very interested in. It seems to be some kind of journal. I think it was written by Marie Antoinette herself. What? Let me see that. <gasps> this is it. I've been trying to track this down for 15 years. Where on earth did you find it? Well, it's a long story, but I happened to find a way into the Queen's Tower, where I happened to find a secret compartment. I think this must be what the Vandal was after. Nancy, I must warn you. I'll wrestle you for this if I have to, and it won't be pretty. Oh, my. I'm sure physical combat won't be necessary, Professor. I'm glad to help you with your work, but I need your assistance in return. You're fluent in French, aren't you? Absolutely. I'll get to work on it right away. I'll have the translation ready in my room for you this time tomorrow. Until then, I mustn't be disturbed. Well, all righty. Now, let's go check out that peephole that we saw in the video that Hotchkiss was making. It sounds intriguing. Shall we peep? Ooh. La vérité est toujours l'idée de tous les mots. Yeah, I don't. Sorry if anyone speaks French and if I totally just butchered that pronunciation. I wonder... Ooh, the medallion fits perfectly. What does it look like? Ooh! Look at this. We have some secret symbols. Vous trouver trouvere la solution de Don. Now, the important thing to do here is to write down the symbols and the color medallion that they go with. So, in my handy dandy notebook, I'm going to write the word blue and then draw a crescent moon and what looks like a sideways W. with some like little arrows on it a fancy sideways W and a raindrop alright and well, now what about the green medallion oh no the red medallion we don't have a green medallion yet ooh that's bright l'espoir and it looks like a star and a weird like feather type thing so I'm gonna write down red and then I will it's a six-pointed star never been good at drawing those I'll just draw it like an asterisk and then a feather hmm Slash banana looking thing. Kind of looks like a banana going for a swim. It's a, like a fish banana. Or maybe like a weird dolphin or something. Yeah, something like that. Alright, so... I think that's all we can do tonight. We need to wait for Professor Hotchkiss's translation. Sounds like she's working hard at it. So why don't we just go to bed, and in the morning we'll talk to 
everyone else and see if there's anything anything new going on. We can sleep in. Set our alarms for like 10 a.m. maybe. Sounds like a good time to get up to me. I wouldn't complain too much about a 10 a.m. wake up. Sometimes I still get confused by this navigation. Morning, Dexter. Hey there, Nancy. Nah. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. You're a trooper. He won't tell us the answer to any of those in person anyway. How about you, Lisa? Do you have anything more to say? Glad you came down to talk. Get this. I saw Dexter walking out to the maintenance shack with this, like, green ornament thing in his hand. He's up to something, right? Maybe you should check it out. Hmm. A green medallion. If you're so interested, why don't you go check it out yourself? I'd love to, but I really should get to work on my article. Hmm. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Keep me posted. Seems a little suspicious. If you were really interested, I think you'd come along. But I'm too curious to pass that up. Green medallion walking out to the maintenance shed. Dexter, Dexter, what are you up to? Try talking to Jacques. Look, keep the stupid medallion. It's yours. I don't have it. You're so rude and infuriating. All right. If I were a medallion in a maintenance shed, where would I be? I would not be there. Be over here? <gasps> Whoa! Nice rat. Big rat. It's kinda cute. But I need the I need yeah, move so I can get the medallion. Haha! <laughs> Green medallion. Woohoo! Maybe we should go thank Lisa for the tip. Uh-oh. Okay. If I don't get inside soon, I'll freeze to death. So here's what we gotta do here. You gotta be really fast because this is timed. And it's weird because there's triumphant music going on, and then there's like the scary music going on. But you need to make the lovers look like this. Three, two, four. Oh gosh, okay. Right here. Just like that. And now the ski lift is moving. What the? What's going on out here? Is that you, Nancy? <sighs> Come inside. It's freezing out here. What kind of a stunt was that, Missy? I was freezing. That stunt was my version of an SOS. Well then, what can I say except good thinking? Yeah. I was locked outside. What up with that? Hey, Lisa. Nancy, I heard you got locked out. You could have frozen to death. So, what was Dexter hiding out there? I'm not gonna tell you. I don't know. It just looked like your average maintenance shed to me. So, um, next time you give me a hot tip, Lisa, it better come with some earmuffs. Huh, I thought for sure I was on to something. I still think Dexter's shady. I'd keep an eye on him if I were you. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Later, Nancy. Yeah. I'm gonna go warm up somewhere. All right, I think we'll stop here, and in our next video, we'll do, we'll do a little bit more exploring. I'll see you soon, fellow detectives.